Welcome to the next episode of Getting Rich. I'd like to start off by thanking everybody for watching and sharing their comments because yet again, we have more client comments and questions that I'd like to address today. We'll start off, I guess I must have touched a nerve last week when I started talking about platinum and said, don't fall asleep on it. So uh, Stephen writes in, says, historically, platinum, which is more rare than gold, has priced higher than gold, but for several years, the gold price has far outrun and outperformed platinum. How do you see platinum price performance going forward? And Stephen, you're absolutely correct. You know, up until 2007, uh, the ratio of the price of platinum to gold was pretty consistently just above, just below, but right around two to one. Um, and in 2007, if you look at the chart of those ratios, it dropped off the cliff to today where we're at is about 0.54, meaning gold has almost reversed it and is now almost two to one to platinum in terms of price. And that's been the case since about 2007. The reason for that is the drop off in the offtake by the diesel engine industry. Platinum is preferred over its sister metal palladium in that industry because it does not oxidize at those high temperatures like palladium does and is a better performer uh, for catalytic converters and diesel engines. But with that uh, industry uh, production dropping off, so has demand for and the price of platinum. So, uh, you know, going forward, uh, I, I think you'll see increases in prices, partly because platinum will follow on the coattails of gold in the precious metals industry. And secondly, as we see economies and industries open back up again, there are other uses of platinum, which will then move back into the forefront. I don't know that we're going to see the days where platinum price exceeds the price of gold again. It is much rarer than gold, but that's only half of the equation, right? The demand side is really what's driving this ratio right now, and it's just not there. We see it picking up. We see it riding on the coattails of gold, and we see price improvement going forward. But I don't know that we're going to see two to one again. Second question comes in from Joseph. He says, I would appreciate a thoughtful and serious analysis of James Rickards and Jim Rogers view on future gold price, which ranges from $5,000 to $15,000 an ounce. Now, I will start off by saying I have an immense amount of respect for both Jim Rickards and Jim Rogers. Uh, they're both uh, incredibly astute individuals, uh, smarter probably than I'll ever be. Um, and I do agree with them on those prices. I just don't agree on the time frame, right? So when they paint those pictures of $5,000 to $15,000 an ounce gold, you have to understand that it usually comes with a scenario where a whole bunch of things happen and fall into place in order for gold then to be valued at those levels. Um, as long as the governments are able to manipulate interest rates and, and influence markets in different ways, I just don't see all of those things in their scenario coming to fruition. Uh, it would require basically a collapse of the system as we know it, and that may very well happen. God, God knows it should. Um, but in the near future, I do not see that happening. I think, you know, a forecast over the next year for gold of twenty-three dollars to $2,500 an ounce, maybe as high as 3000 is much more realistic unless everything starts to implode. And if that's the case, then we'll get there sooner. Should the prices be at $5,000 or $15,000 an ounce? Absolutely. No question about it. I agree. I just don't see them getting there in this current environment. So I hope that answers your question. I welcome anybody else to send in your questions. Please like us, subscribe to us for our newsletters, and by all means, send us your questions and your comments below this video uh, so we can answer them and continue this two-way dialogue. I much rather answer your questions that you specifically have than to guess what you might thinking and start pontificating about something you care nothing about. So please send in your, your comments and your questions. We look forward to them every week. And in the meantime, don't ever forget that getting rich always starts with keeping what's yours.